Hi, this is John. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm concentrating on efficient editing in the timeline using the buttons and a few shortcut um, keystrokes which make your editing more efficient. Um, so I'm going to bring some video clips into the editor and um, you're familiar with all these, I think, from Organizer, from files and folders. The media browser lets you drill right down into your file structure and lets you scrub through the um, videos to see exactly what you're bringing in. You can see like a live preview. And then the others are from various devices. What you may not know is that you can open the project assets panel and drag in directly from a folder. So I have these um, family Christmas videos in this folder and I'm going to select them all by using control A that's command A on the on on the Mac so having um, selected all I'm going to now just drag them all straight into the um, project assets um, folder and there we are so I can close down that folder now and they're ready to be added to the timeline so I'm going to just start with this second clip the first one i'm going to use at the very end and i'm going to just drag it into the timeline and and there it is now i'm concentrating today on these three buttons the 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 linked selection the snap tool or this this kind of magnetic shaped tool and also the thumbnails um these Starting with the link selection, you always want to keep that switched on, which is blue. When when these um, buttons are blue, they are all activated, but you can turn them off. But most of the time, you know, when you're dragging videos about the timeline, you want them everything to move together and audio and um, video to remain in sync. And that also applies if you're moving to a different um, track like video two, everything gets moved together and uh, kept in sync. So I'm going to just undo that and put it back to the beginning by clicking rip or delete. Um, I'm now going to bring these other two clips in and select those and drag to the timeline and um, everything um, will snap because the snap tool is already switched on. And this is what we want most of the um, most of the time when we are editing our videos. Um, I'm going to now bring this um, last one in, and I'm going to show you what can um, what we can do when we turn off snap. So I'm going to turn off the snap tool, and if I drag this now into the final clip, somewhere like that there. You can see it cuts into that clip and reduces the size of it. So there are some occasions when you might want to turn off the snap tool, but most of the time I recommend that you keep it switched on and like, likewise with the, the linked tool. If we turn off the linked tool, that enables us to um, delete or um, remove video or audio. Um, I'm going to just actually put it back on again and jump back into a previous version of Elements, the 2024 version. In Elements 2024 and earlier versions, we could simply right-click on the timeline and uh, choose either Delete Audio or, or Delete Video. Um, we can achieve this also in um, the 2025 version, although it's a little bit different, and I'll show you how to do that next. So I have the same clip opened in the latest version, which is the 2025 version. And um, the first thing I need to do is to um, switch off this linked selection. And then if I right click on the audio track, for example, I can just choose clear and that will delete it straight away. Let me undo that. And it works the same with the video clip. Right click and choose clear. So it works pretty much the same as 2024. You can use the right click function, but remember to switch back on again the linked selection, which is what you will want most of the time for your editing. Otherwise the um, timeline can become a bit um, messed up if you leave it unlinked. Jumping back into the 2025 version and the sequence we already have open, um, if I switch off the um, 
uh, the linked button, it turns white. And um, it means I can select a piece of um, audio, like this one on the last track, and use the backspace key or the delete key to remove it. I'm going to undo that um, because there's a quicker way of removing all of the audio if you want to replace it with a song or a piece of music. And if you go to the header and click on Audio 1, you can use Delete Track and that removes all of the audio completely. And then I can go to the um, music panel and say bring in um, a piece of audio and just drag it onto Audio 1, which I which, um, say is now empty. And I can fit it to the entire video and click Done. And that brings it in. So that's just a quicker way of doing it if you want to remove all your audio. Otherwise, you can use the Unlink button to remove individual pieces of audio or video. And um, one of the things I want to show you is a few keyboard shortcuts. One of my favorites is um, for making a, a, a cut. So Command K or Control K, and that shows you how you can cut your videos. And um, you can, you know, delete parts or edit parts separately. And Command K is the same as using the razor tool. Normally you'd click on the scissor icon and, um, and, and make a cut with the razor tool. Then you'd have to reselect the um, selection tool and um, and select again. And so it, it, using Control K is the quickest way of making a cut, in my opinion. Another trick is to use the plus and minus keys to zoom in to your timeline. Um, firstly, I'm going to just show you if you um, go to the header again, you can move up and enlarge it. And with the audio, move this click here when you get these two little move down and you can see more of the waveforms um, you know on the on, on the audio this is a built-in track so it doesn't have many waveforms but if you bring in a song from your um, from your folders you'll be able to see the waveforms more clearly if you want to make edits or or cuts to it you use the plus and minus keys on the keyboard and the plus key will um, move it to the right and the minus keys will contract it to the left. So a good way to see more of the frames in your clips just using the plus and minus keys like I'm like I'm doing here. When using these keyboard um, shortcuts make sure that the timeline is selected so it should be outlined in blue otherwise um, they won't work. The final blue button is what changes the thumbnail view and you can switch between first and last thumbnail or to see all of the thumbnails throughout the clip. There is also another method by going to the header and clicking on, right clicking I should say, on video one and choosing display style and there are some um, other options available to you and you can have first and last all thumbnails, or you can have no thumbnails. Um, you know, if you want to use just um, file names, or if you've renamed your files, you might find that more easily. So that's the um, final blue button. Again, I keep all these switched on. Another trick is moving along the edits um, between each clip. Um, these buttons um, will take you to the um, last edit, edit point, but you can also use on the um, timeline, um, and again, make sure it's selected and outlined in blue. You can use the up and down arrow keys. So the up, the up key will move to the last edit point or cut along your timeline until you get to the beginning, and and the um, the, the, the down arrow again will move you forward along the timeline. So these are just a few little tips for making editing more efficient. I hope you found this interesting. That's all for today. I'll continue to make some more videos in the future, so stay tuned. Um, but in the meantime, thank you for watching and bye-bye.